Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 222. The proverb today is, there's a sucker born every minute. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, the proverb basically means that there are many people in the world who could uh, easily be tricked and scammed, and that there always will be. Like, you know, it's probably part of human nature. There'll always be so many people around that they will fall for things and they could be tricked. Uh, let's continue. Uh, the phrase could also be heard as there is a sucker born every day. So instead of it could be every day or every minute. Uh, it is often used after we hear that someone just got conned or scammed, you know, especially out of money. Okay. Uh, one theory of the origin is that it could possibly have derived from a British version of the phrase that there is a fool born every day. So that was actually first. Uh, one of the earliest citations comes from the European and London Review in 1806. So that could go back to at least 1806, that one, that there's a, a, a fool born every day. All right, let's continue. Many claim there is a sucker born every day was coined by P.T. Barnum from Barnum and Bailey Circus, you know, uh, one of the original founders that put the circus together. Even though it sounds a lot like something he would say, there is no evidence to back it up to support it. So it can't be pinpointed to say he absolutely, definitely coined it. Um, he was known uh, for promoting many hoaxes. Yeah, I do remember this. Like uh, One example might be that um, he used to sell tickets and tell people that he had the skeleton of a mermaid. And, of course, we found out later that it was really just a monkey skull with a monkey's rib cage. And they was able to connect some sort of a fish or fish tail to it. And he would uh, he would sell tickets and tell people that was like a, 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 the skeleton of like a baby mermaid that they found. And this would be one of the things that you would hear. One of the hoaxes that he would pull that would make you, makes it more believable to to think that maybe P.T. Barnum was the one that originally coined this. However, let's continue. Um, he, yes, so, yeah, so he was known for many hoaxes, and he did live around the time the phrase became popular, so that's something to back it up. But, again, we there's no definite proof. Uh, one of the earliest quotes comes from the New York Times in December 1883. Um, there is a sucker born every minute. Yeah, that was an actual full quote in that. And we just have a um, couple of examples here. Here's example number one. Um, there, um, another victim got tricked by that phone scam. I guess it's true. There is a sucker born every day. Yeah, especially when you hear there's a scam. It's been out there for a while. It's been reported widely, but you still hear that people still continue to get tricked by the same one that, that's been in the news and that a lot of people already talked about. We're number two here. Why do people still play three-card Monty in the street? Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen this in a lot of big city streets, uh, major cities. I know in New York they definitely had it, but throughout the world you might see some guy, he might set up a box with three cards and he has like a, a little bead or something under it and he moves the cards around very quickly and somebody is supposed to guess which one the little bead or the little bowl or something is under. And, you know, and, you know, people will bet and, you know, they almost never win. And not only that, they usually set it up. They usually work in teams where they have one guy come over who's with the team. They'll allow him to win, but he's really working with them. Uh, and then this encourages the other people. Oh, he won. Maybe I could win too. And, you know, they, they get scammed all the time. So this is a famous game that's out there. But, you know, a lot of people know that this is definitely just a scam. You shouldn't be playing it. They won't let you win. Uh, okay, so don't they know it is a scam? And, of course, B here would say, well, there's a sucker born every day. So this is exactly how we use it. Anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. Uh, thanks for your, uh, thanks for your time. Bye bye.